In this video, we will discuss sequencing records in ImageMatch. Before you begin, you will want to have an active ImageMatch license from either your lab or PhotoLinks and a clean data file for your subjects. Before your photo shoot, you will want to create camera cards for your subjects. To get started, open ImageMatch and go to File, Import Data. This will prompt you to browse out and select your data file you wish to import. Once selected, your import wizard will appear. Once your import wizard opens, you will see that you are on step one of four. If your data file has a header, change the word false to true. For the start line, make sure that this number matches the line that either your header is on, if you have one, or is the line where the data first starts if you don't have a header. You can see this in the bottom half of the window where you can preview your data. Select what kind of text format you are using. You will easily be able to see what your file is by looking at the data below. If you see commas separating fields, like in my example here, use comma delimited. If you see small rectangles between your fields, or if all your data runs together, select tab delimited. Once finished, press the Next button. You will now notice that your import wizard will display step 3 of 4. Don't panic. Step 2 was a process automatically completed for you by ImageMatch. You will now be instructed to map your columns in step 3. Each column has a drop down menu up at the top. Click the down arrow and scroll through the field selections to find the field you wish to map that column of data to be populated into. If a column says no mapping, then that data will not be imported. Make sure all of your columns of data that you want imported are mapped to a single field. Once finished mapping, press next. On the final step of your import wizard, step four of four, you will not need to select any fields on this window. Just click Finish in the lower right hand corner of your screen to bring in your, your data into Image Match. Now that we have the data in for all of our subjects, we now want to insert blank data for any subjects who appear on the day of the photo shoot who do not have a camera card. To do this, we are going to create blank records. We're going to go to Data, Create Blank Records. And it's going to bring up a screen that will ask you to enter the number of blank records you think you may need. Type in a number. Typically, it's about 10% of the data that you've already imported. Once you have created your blank records, we now want to add a placeholder blank images to our job. This way, we will have a match job down at the bottom here. That way, we can save our job. We're going to go to Data. Insert blank images. We now have a match job and are able to save it. Go to File, Save Job As, and name and save your job. Press OK. It will take you to your default save folder and press Save. We are now ready to move on to begin making our camera cards. Now that we have all of our subjects data and our blank records loaded inside of Image Match, we want to assign record numbers. These numbers create the barcodes for your camera cards or labels and are a unique identifier for each student. Go to Data, Assign Record Numbers. This will bring up the Record Numbers window. You're going to want to choose your record number field. Typically, this is just record number. Under Assign To, we're going to select All Records. Take note that selecting records without a record number is used when you already have assigned record numbers previously and you have since added new records. This way, you will not overwrite any existing record numbers. Under Record Number To Assign, we're going to go to Unique Numbers starting with and type in a unique number. Typically, this is 1001. 
If you choose first unique number, this will start numbering your records starting with the number 1. Typically, this is not long enough for a barcode to scan. Once complete, press OK for your record numbers to appear for each subject. Be sure to periodically save your job to make sure all of your changes that you have done will reflect when you reopen your job. Now that each record has a record number, we can create our camera cards. One of the main reports you will use in ImageMatch is to create camera cards. To do this, we're going to go to the report menu and select the appropriate camera card or label setup. As you can see, there are several here, so it all comes down to if you have any pre-cut camera cards from a specific manufacturer or whatever fits your needs. I'm going to do the Camera Cards Multigraphics 8-Up. Once in the Report Setup window, you have an option to filter specific criteria to bring up a specific group of individuals. In this example, I want to print cards for everybody, so I will not be filtering. On the right-hand side, you have the option to sort your cards by three different database fields. I have mine in the order of Teacher, Grade, and then Name. Once you have your sort selected, press OK, and it will take you into the preview window for your camera cards or labels. The first couple sheets may be blank with only a barcode. These are the blank records that we have previously created. Eventually, you will start seeing actual data for the students that you have listed in here. From here, we can print our camera cards, or we can export our camera cards or labels in the upper left-hand corner of the preview screen to either a PDF format, an HTML, RTF, TIFF, text, or XLS. You are now ready to go to your photo shoe and take pictures of your subjects. Be sure to keep your camera cards in shot order. That way you can match the subject's data to their images later back in image match. After the shoot, save your images to your computer. Note, these images must be JPEGs saved as baseline standard or PNGs saved as non-interlaced in order for image match to recognize them. You have the ability to match images and data inside of Image Match using the data entry screen. Once you have set up your data and camera cards, save your blank job. You're then going to want to start sequencing records. To do this, we're going to first select our image directories. Go to File, Select Image Directories, click Add, and browse out for your folder of images you wish to bring in. If you see just this blank C, highlight this and press delete. If you have more than one folder of images, continue to press the add button until you have selected them all. Once done, press OK to load your images into Image Match. Now we're ready to go to our data entry screen. You can either go to data and then data entry or press the F5 button to access this. The first time you enter the data entry screen, a window will appear that lists the fields in Image Match. Just click OK to get past this window. Once your data entry screen is up, you can choose to have your packages window appear automatically if you are doing package entry at this time as well. To do this, go to Options, Enable Auto Package Entry. In this situation, I am not doing anything with packages, so I'm going to leave this off. In the Data Entry screen, the first primary field here should be Record Number. Hit this down arrow and select Record Number. We're then going to scan our first barcode into the Record Number field. We're then going to press F5 or press the Add button to move on to the next record. We're then going to continue on scanning our barcodes and pressing Add until we get through all of our images.
Once done, we're then going to press the exit button to return to our main image match screen. You will now see all of your images listed with a record number underneath them. We are now ready to merge in our data. We're going to browse out and merge in our saved job that we had created previously. Go to File, Import Data, and we're going to browse out for our job that we had saved. On our Import Wizard Step 1 of 4, all we need to do here is press Next. On Step 2 of 4, make sure that Students is highlighted and press Next. Step 3 of 4 is where we go through and map everything together. Since this was a job that we had previously set up inside of ImageMatch, everything will already be mapped for us. Just click Next. On step 4 of 4 is where we actually tell it where to merge. We're going to check off the first top two boxes where it starts with do not merge. And then in the bottom we're going to check off record number because that is the unique information that we are merging based off of. Click finish. And a window will appear informing you how many records are being merged, 5. And how many records are being added, in this situation 10. These 10 records that are being added were the blank records we had previously set up. Press OK to then see their information merge in for us. We are now ready to get rid of all of these blank records which contain no data or images. First, we need to add blank images so that it can be a match job. Go to Data and Insert Blank Images. Since these are records with no data in them and they're not ones that we need to keep, we physically want to delete these records. Go to Data, Deleting, and Delete Range. Press Yes and choose the very first number written above your blank image. In this case, it's 0006 or just 6. So this is now going to delete images 6 through 15. Press OK to see all of the data now being gone. Now we need to remove our blank images. Go to Data, Remove Blank Images. To have our images and data matched up correctly. Once done, go to File, Save Job As, and name your job. Press OK and choose where to save. You can write over your original job. It's going to ask if you want to overwrite. Just say yes. And your images and data are now matched correctly inside of ImageMatch and you are ready to continue on with your job.